What's up YouTube? All right, so here's the game plan for the day. We're gonna try to get a rotisserie built for this power wagon cab. Probably not gonna start on the power wagon cab right now, but I need to get it up on something so that it's ready for when we are, because it needs, needs some love. Um, so we're gonna build a rotisserie out of some of this old two inch pipe that I have. I already cut some brackets that bolt into where the door bolted in. Um, some random lengths of tubing that we can use. This is all just gonna be made out of stuff I have laying around, so it ain't gonna be nothing crazy fancy. I've got uh, four big swivel casters for the frame. Um, we're gonna try to keep it as simple as possible. So, I'll kind of give you an idea of what it's going to look like here. So my plan is to, so let's say we got the cab here, however it looks, I'm, I'm not an artist, so don't mind me. So let's say we got the cab, we got our door openings, blah, 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 blah. All right, so I'm gonna, I got a bracket here. It's bolted into the striker plate, bracket here, bracket here, it's bolted into the hinge. Uh, sections on both sides. So I'm going to put a section of square tube here, section of square tube here, kind of like a, just a little T joint. There'll be a piece of DOM tubing that I have laying around that fits over that two inch pipe welded right to the top of that piece of tubing. Then there'll be a, this will have a nut and a bolt on it so we can use it as a grub screw to tighten it down in any position we want it. We'll pass a piece of pipe through there and it'll come out to a bolt flange that will bolt to another bolt flange that'll be our stand. So this be a piece of pipe, piece of pipe, be some casters on it, and there'll be a cross tube underneath to tie the two T frames together. Caster, caster, upright. And then uh, all we can have to do is loosen these grub screws and we can rotate the cab wherever we want it. So we'll have to figure out how tall it needs to be in order for the cab to fully pass, swung all the way around. Um, we'll have to figure out how long we want this base so that way it don't get tipsy on me. Um, yeah, it should be a pretty simple thing to build. Like I said, building all the junk, so I might use some things over on this side that are different from that side just to make it all work out, to make it out of stuff I have laying around. I don't want to spend no money on the thing because it's a sacrificial piece. Once I use it for this cab, it, it'll probably never get used again. Um, so, yeah. Well, let's uh, commence in getting these pieces welded into the onto the brackets for the cab, and then we'll get our DOM tubing cut. And we'll go ahead and, this, this pipe ain't going to pass all the way through when we're done. But we're going to use it as an alignment tool to get these two aligned with each other. And then, uh, once we get that part done, then we'll start building our stubs that come out of there with our bolt flanges. And then we'll start building all of our base frame. So, alright, I'll bring you right back. Alright, let's get some stuff, uh tacked up here we're just going to kind of eyeball this because there's nothing no right or wrong way about it we're just going to go for it and guess oops Line this first, and we're going to put it kind of at the top. We'll go about a quarter of an inch below.
and then we'll just bring it up square. Somewhat square. cab don't weigh too awful much so running these welds vertical down ain't gonna hurt anything Side's in there good enough for now. Let's uh, let's go do the same thing to the other side. That's oh, great. That'll add some structure to the cab too for when we uh, go to uh, start cutting the bottom floor off this thing. We can actually keep it straight. So, all right, those parts are welded in. Let me get my DOM tubing cut the length and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, drill that so for our uh, grub screw. And we'll grab a piece of pipe, pass it through here, get that aligned where we want it, get those welded on. Then we'll start in the frame. I'll uh, bring you right back as soon as I get this piece cut in half. I really don't want to bore you with that. And uh, then we'll probably set up over there. We might set up on the big Cincinnati Bickford to drill the holes just because, because uh, I don't get to run that machine very often and I really like it. So, all right, I will bring you right back. All right, we're over here on the big old Cincinnati Bigfoot 24 inch super service drill press. Um, drill these holes out real quick. Let's go for uh, 390 RPM. And we're at a, let's do a 5,000 per rev down feed. Gauge our power down feed and poke a hole through this thing. Man, I love this drill press. Easy as it gets, right there. All right, we got a couple holes in there. Now, let me shut off my rotary phase converter. These bushings, or these pieces of DOM tubing, right on top of that. And then, uh, yeah. First, we gotta get a piece of pipe pass a piece of pipe through there just grab any piece doesn't really make a difference 
Um, this one has a collar, but it'll be fine. So I'll just have to put one on and then the other one on. Wants to roll to the back, don't it? Alright, we'll just stick us a piece of wood under there to hold it still. I need to go grab a couple nuts. I'm not going to leave this whole piece of pipe in there. This is, like I said, this is just to get them aligned close, anyways. There's one. Let's go ahead and get the other one on there. A lot of stick out there. It'll work, I think, <laughs> should. All right, let's go over to the other side. Oh, sorry, spinning you around there. Don't get dizzy. Don't get dizzy on me. Wouldn't want to make you sick. Oops. Now, we should be able to loosen up these grub screws. All right, my air compressor is kind of annoying. That's something you're gonna have to get used to. <laughs> My little garage, when I didn't have this building, I had it outside in a little own, its own little room. To quiet it down, but all right, now we're aligned perfectly. We should be ready. Oh, slip down to that side. We should be ready to set up and start. Uh, Cutting some pieces, drawing up some mounting plates and stuff for our main part of the rotisserie. We got the cab stuff taken care of, and that's gonna hold that cab no problem at all. All right, let me uh, figure out what I'm doing next and I'll bring you right back. Let's get some plates drawn up for our bolt plates for the end of our tubes and uh, We'll also get some tubing catch plates so that way it can't slide from one side to the other. Uh, it'll kind of keep it where it needs to be. Open up our plates. I think I'm going to make those uh, our bolt plates. Let's do uh, uh, five. We could probably do four. Let's just do six by six. And that should give us what we need to do. So I'm gonna throw four bolts in the corner. So let's just offset that by an inch. And then we'll just throw ourselves four holes in there. We'll make them 600 thou. And we'll need four of these. Two to weld on the tubing stubs and two to weld onto our stands in order to just delete that. 
that center square. All right, so that's going to be our pieces that we need. We could probably do I know the OD of that pipe is going to be roughly two and three eighths, two inch schedule forty. So let's do two with a circle in the middle and two without. That way we get the plates centered. What do you think? So let's throw us a hole in the middle of this thing. We'll call it uh, it's roughly two and three eighths. So we'll just say uh, two point four inches. And we should be able to slip that onto our pipe. So. We're going to save that as, let's say, PW uh, to 3, 4, because I already have 1 through 3 for those other brackets. So we'll just call it 4. And then for the other one, we'll just delete that out. And we'll make us a slot in the center to plug weld it onto our uh, piece of pipe. Computers being really slow for some reason. Let's go uh, one inch by one inch, and we should be able to plug weld that right to our pipe. And that'll kind of keep us centered on that piece of pipe too. So we'll save this as a DXF. We'll call it uh, PW Rotisserie Five. We'll save that. And then we can throw our flash drive in here. Let's find our old folder here. So we're going to throw in four and five. All right. So we should be able to duplicate that, bring it right over to the side, and we should have plenty of heights there to bring in our other part and put it right on top. Grab that little guy, move her up, duplicate it. Now we're going to make it into a cut file. Come down here. We're uh, 65 amps, half inch plate. Give us a lead in. And I'm going to move that lead in because I don't want it to start up there all funky. Select our next one. Same thing, except all the parameters are now set. And we'll change that start up there to the top corner as well. And there is all of our parts ready to go. So we'll come up here, we'll do file run post processor. We'll save it. Now we can come up here to our software and bring around here. Should see all our parts pop up. Boom, right there. Look at that. Half inch plate. 65 amp shielding saying 30 inches a minute let's go ahead and lower that down to 28 30 would be fine but give me a little better hole if I now we're gonna cut right through all that friggin junk but that'll be fine It'll do it. All right, we're gonna be right there. We're gonna zero out. We're gonna run it.
I'm going to bring you back as soon as those parts are cut. I get them cleaned up. I'll bring you back for the next step. All right, I got the little bandsaw set up. Let's cut us a couple stubs at 14 inches. Those will be the stubs coming out of the cab that we'll weld a couple of those uh, bolt plates to. So let's uh, get us a couple of them chopped off here. Roughly 14 inches. Like I said, this isn't, this isn't crazy critical. It doesn't really matter that much, as long as we're somewhat close. I feel like you only have marble saw someday, a little vert vertical rolling band saw. Um, sure would make it really handy for this kind of stuff. But this is what I got, it works great. I'm not complaining at all. This is galvanized pipe, so I need to grind off the best I can. One. It's rolling on the next one, and uh, we'll chop it off. All right. Let's get these stubs welded together. Got the pipe all cut off 14 inches. Now, I just gotta make sure I keep this as square as possible to everything. Get a tack on it. Knock it around if we have to. Get it all squared up. Right, we have two stubs. Let's take you back over here. See if you can see what I'm looking at here. Yep, all right. These will go in there for our rotation. And that is what will bolt right to our stand. To rotate the thing around circles. Now we should be fairly square because we used that pipe to square everything up before. So we should be able to measure from each side of this flange and be somewhat straight. Five and an eighth. 75 and an eighth. All right, so we're dead straight. So now my next question is gonna be, how far out do I want this to come? I wanna make sure I have plenty of room to work. So let's come out eight inches to the outside of the flange on both sides. And that's where we'll be able to land our And mind you, we got some adjustment in that. It's not set in stone. 
this is what we want to do. So let's just make the inside of our bolt plates on our stand at let's say 79 inches. All right. So that's going to be the inside of our pipes going to be 79 inches roughly plus an inch for the half inch plates welding to them. So we need to be at 80 inches on the inside. So we're going to need our cross member going between the two upright T's that's going to be 80 inches. And then we'll need two pieces. Let's just make up a number here. Let's go six feet is how long this thing's going to be. So we'll need two pieces at six feet. We'll need one piece at six and a half foot. And then I think I want to make our uprights. I want to be at least, I just want to make sure I got plenty of clearance to rotate this thing around. So let's say, let's say we'll make those four feet tall. That shouldn't be too terrible. We're going to be four foot off the casters. I would put the center of our cab there. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Let's put the center of our cab. It's 40 inches enough. I think 40 should be plenty. So let's do 40 inch uprights. So we need two pieces of 40, one piece of six and a half foot, and uh, two pieces of six foot. All right, let's, uh, let me get some pipe wrangled around here and we'll get set up to cut some more pieces. All right, I don't have a coper, but I do have a rigid drill press and a hole saw. Hopefully, it'll work out the way it should. I'm just making a mark back half an inch and uh, we're gonna drill it. this clamp. We're going to clamp this level to it. We are copes are straight across from each other. See now, when I break that loose, pick this whole thing up, turn it around, I can get my copes back, keep them even. The 
at least close enough to even that it doesn't matter that much. <clears throat> All right, round two. Coops are done. Now we can start the layout and assembly process. All right, I'll bring you right back. All right, we have wheels on it now. So it's able to roll around. Now we gotta put our uprights on. And then on those uprights, we got to put these corresponding plates to those to bolt to. And maybe a couple gussets. And I think we're, we almost got a rotisserie. So let me get those on there and those bolt plates on there. And then I think we're ready to try to pick this cab up, bolt it to the rotisserie and see what we got. All right, I'll bring you back. All right, let's get this cab lifted up. I think it's going to be the best chance to get these bolt plates square with each other. Let that down and slide that thing a little bit. Not quite just in square. All right. Still needs a little bit more. Try to roll this in beside it. grab some bolts we can This is what's gonna help us rotate the pieces around. Oh, no, that'd be bad to have that way off. Let's grab some hardware here. We're not set even at the moment. We're gonna pick it up perfectly square.
Get water. Get water. Get water. Okay. Now, we gotta find a place to check the level on this cab. Just so we have an idea. I'm pretty sure we gotta go up. Yeah. Just like I thought we should, I mean. Everything should be fairly even. I think we gotta go up a whole lot, but... That's about where I want to be, but it seems that we're not level. Let's see if I can find a better place, too. Oh, there it is. Okay. You want power cord back? Put a welder back in. Over here so we can weld this together. So if I'm a helmet, there it is, my gloves. Should be good to go. Let me grab my three quarter inch wrench. It's like tighten those grub bolts up before I let the pressure off because I don't want it to swing around on me. Just to be safe. Give those a snug. Hopefully they got enough power to hold it. I would think they would. The cab don't weigh that much. Alright. I need a 5 8 and an 11 16 and I'll tighten these bolt plates up. Those don't go nowhere. Okay. 
should be good to relieve the pressure. Now the next trick's gonna be reaching that thing. Okay, it is hung on the rotisserie. I think the goal was accomplished. <coughs> now we'll be able to spin the cab around and work on it. I got. Bunch of stuff on the bottom to do, the top, I mean every side, so just make it easy. I'll be able to roll it to where it's easy to get to, easy to repair, and uh, yeah. <coughs> My next question is, is how easy is it to rotate? Hopefully I can do this by myself. Let's get these tools out of here, and then we'll get the lifting apparatus off the cab. I originally built this spreader bar to lift up a Cummins diesel and set it into my my little truck. I've seen my, keep myself using it all the time. So it's definitely worth building. I thought it was going to be a one-time use only thing, but I guess not. My only concern is, is that I get it centered good enough. I went off the uh, latch plate, so I don't know that we're going to be dead center. So it might be kind of hard to flip in some spots. Um, and I'm not sure which way this thing is going to want to go. wants to naturally go backwards but I got it fairly balanced so when we need to work on the bottom we'll be able to roll that thing up there be able to get to the bottom of the cab I'm just tighten those grub bolts back down And that'll hold it there while we work on it. Just like I planned it. All right. I'm going to call that a success. So. Thanks for uh, following along. I want to keep this build going. And, uh. It'll be a lot easier to keep video and show it to you if you guys keep uh, keep watching, keep liking, and uh, keep telling everybody to subscribe. The more people we get to subscribe, the more views we get, uh, the more stuff I can do. So, yeah, the rotisserie worked out great. I mean, if you're going to restore something and you need something to do it, 
like I said, I built this out of junk in less than a day. So um, just work with what you got. Uh, anything's possible if you try hard enough. And uh, yeah, so this is the bottom of the power wagon cab. And uh, like I said, I got some rot to fix. All in all, it's not bad, but I do have some stuff to fix. And this is just going to make it so much easier. Even getting in here to work on this dash and take care of all this wiring somebody did. Um, yeah, that's bad. But anyway, it worked out. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Share it as much as you can. Let's get this channel off the ground. Let's get her moving. But that's a wrap for now. I'll see you guys in the next one.